So this is my first view at the week two tryout for the DRL drone tournament doodad. So we're gonna take a look at it and see what we think. Um, so this is the first time on the track. Most of these tracks are set so that you can run at full throttle. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I like that. We're good. We're still in the air. Ooh, they're inviting split S's in now. I hate those gates. What the? Wowzers. I'm just gonna restart this one. This track is gonna be hella hard. <clears throat> Man, the other one seemed just straight easy compared to what this one looks like it's gonna be. And go up here. And this one. I'm gonna have this fun turn. Split us off to the right. And this one's the one we're gonna come up and over. I'm assuming that's what you're supposed to do. Ooh, some seriously tight corners for this boat. For anybody that hasn't raced on this sim, oh, psh. Um, wow, this track is gnarly. Hasn't raced the D, uh, the DRL racer before. What the freak? I'm um, sorry, I keep wanting to mention that. Uh, holy! If you haven't raced the DRL racer before, it is a boat. It is heavy. It is fat. And it does not like to take sharp corners well, so I have a feeling that corner could do that little chicane thing is gonna give me some grief. Here we go though, we're figuring it out. We're gonna come up through here, split us, dump it off down into the right. Which is good, and there's gonna be this power loop. Didn't make it. <clears throat> Try it again. Oh, it's over there. This turn, I have a feeling it's going to give me some, some serious grief. Now this one, you're going to want to come this way. Obviously this is, like I said, all the DRL courses are meant to be run at full throttle. I think it actually makes it a lot easier than going through these courses slow. I'm assuming, there we go. Under two minutes, it's not terrible. so heavy. I don't know if watching the video does it justice of just how thick and fat this Racer 4 really is. I mean it sits like a freaking rock. Alright though, I think I'm filling this course out, and I think I'm really starting to like it. Um, obviously can be smoother, places that I need to just keep on the throttle. Um, I think that's just the way to do it, is you have to stay almost completely horizontal, especially going through oh, that. See right there, I need to get on the throttle way more. So this may come through, make the left, drop down, make the right, last corner, make sure you don't F that up, hit the gates. There we go. I like that. I'm not gonna lie. I was not stoked about that course. So this is day four. Um, this is really the first 
uh, really big improvement that I saw. Um, I shaved a few seconds off here and there, but nothing too big. Um, but I really found a few ways in watching some of the, the top guys fly the course that I could cut off a few seconds and make things a little bit, uh, one, cleaner, and two, just a little bit easier in all reality. Um, one of them was one of the turns over here, and then this, oh no, it's not this one, but coming through this gate, instead of doing a weird flip thing, just coming through it like that, just seemed a lot more smooth it seems to shave off quite a bit of time and I don't crash as much trying to get through that gate which is nice and the other part that I saw that they were doing a few different things is just how I'd make this turn um, that one's not my best one but I'm much more consistent and um, in the center of the gate rather than off to the side and trying to correct for that so that's been good um, but overall yeah this one I shaved off almost I think it was six or seven seconds in one shot after this so pretty good run um, pretty pretty happy with it still have a few days left um, before the actual tournament goes live so we'll see if I can shave off a few more seconds and what we can do from there hey guys it is me this is my fastest heat from week two um, this is about as fast as it got which I'm pretty stoked about I was stuck at that about the 119 mark for a while um, and it took me a little bit to kind of shave off those last few seconds but this is the heat that I actually did it. Um, so yeah it's been really fun. I really like this setup with that DRL's done so that you get to do a new track every week um, and that it's something new, it's something different and you can kind of continue to see everybody else improving along with you and stuff. It's been a lot of fun, I've really liked it. Um, so yeah, if you like this stuff, I'm going to be doing one of these videos every week. Hopefully they'll get a little more polished as time goes on. Um, but there's 12 weeks. We are on week, or this is week two. Week three is already underway probably by the time that I get this out. So that one should be coming fairly soon. But overall, I really liked it. So if you have any other comments, if you like something about it, feel free to hit that like button, slam the subscribe button, and leave a comment if you have it. Um, but until we fly again, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of the week two of the DRL tryouts, and I'll see you on the next one.